Hey guys, it's Sean over at Doherty Ranch Performance Horses. So uh, I know we said 12 o'clock, but we're running a little bit behind. There's just some, really some, some great ideas that uh, we're trying to mull over here. Um, trying to put together a little bit of a format of what we're gonna do for the clinic. Um, so we had a lot of participants on there. Appreciate you guys jumping in there and helping us out, giving us ideas for what it is that you guys will benefit from, because that's really what this is all about. So um, kind of we'll just jump into uh, the top five recipients and some of the topics. Uh, as far as the topics, um, Horses First Ride, I thought that was really cool. Actually, we were getting ready to start a new cult that's coming in for training, uh, I think on the 10th or 11th. And so about four or five days, maybe shortly after that, we're gonna actually have a horse getting its first ride. So that might be a really good clinic to do for that one. Um, and then uh, Collection at the Lope, that was really good, engaging the hind ends. Um, uh, high name cross firing. I thought that was a really cool topic. That one was gonna be kind of hard to, to talk about, you know, just depending on the different levels of people that are at the clinic. Um, and then, uh, yeah, basically just a lot of people were interested in the horses being collected and hind end control a little bit more. Um, I think something that I'm really known for is just having really soft hands and uh, using my legs a lot or using them correctly and then uh, allowing us to, to have soft hands. So I think that's kind of gonna be where we're gonna lean this thing to. So I'm actually gonna make this a multiple topic clinic as far as the names. Um, so I've got the top five and then the top person with the best idea um, is gonna be the person that gets the, the two hour one-on-one -on -one personal clinic. Um, but as far as names, I've got uh, Gretchen Vetter, uh, Lisa, or, I'm sorry, Lisa Farina. I hope I'm saying that right. Sorry if I'm butchering it. Uh, Jessica Marie, uh, Kendra Hall, and Rebecca Ward. Um, so that'll be our top five. And then um, uh, Rebecca Ward actually will be the recipient for the best idea. Just uh, again, I, um, I think she was one that kind of came out with the soft hands and using your legs. And that's kind of like what we're really known for. Uh, it's an important topic. It's important to us to uh, relay that to you guys. Um, so as far as the clinic itself, um, looking at kind of starting it off with a quick, uh, it actually wasn't mentioned, I don't think, in any of the topics, but I, I think I'm just going to jump into a, like a real quick topic on saddle fit and uh, proper placement because a lot of the horses that are coming into our uh, facility that are needing like uh, some kind of behavioral issues and stuff like that, they've just been stemming to these whole shoulder problems and, and which was coming from like poor saddle fit. So it's just something we we're just seeing and easily um, just identifying just because we see it so often. And then um, gonna jump in the, the, the clinic coming from that going into uh, soft hands and using our legs and kind of just implementing that, doing an introduction on it. It's probably gonna need something for the future to follow up with that because it's just way too much. And we can teach that for weeks um, and never probably say the same thing twice. So there's just so much that comes with uh, developing feel and um, just being able to have those soft hands and, and communication. Um, and then uh, I actually thought what was gonna be really awesome is going from the soft hands and using your legs and then working into uh, uh, either trotting and cantering um, um, with confidence. Not just, honestly, really that a lot of people just say with confidence, they, you, you never really know if they mean for the horse to build his confidence or if they're talking about for the rider because it actually builds confidence for both. And it's so important to reassure those horses and build their confidence. And you can really do that um, with, you know, a lot of loping. Um, and then um, I'd like to probably end the clinic with the uh, fourth topic, um, which would be uh, using the hind end a little bit more. So going from saddle fit to soft hands and using your legs down to loping and uh, trotting with confidence and then using the hind end more. I'm gonna be shooting for, hopefully, we're just gonna talk to the recipients and see uh, how they feel about it. I'm gonna shoot for probably Saturday, May 21st, which I think is just a couple weeks away. Just trying to get this done before it gets too hot. We're gonna start about eight o'clock in the morning. We'll have the arena watered and drugged um, and worked and everything just groomed, ready to go. Uh, it will probably be about four hours, maybe from 8 a.m. to 12, if that's too long for everybody. We'll see what the weather's looking like at that time. If it's getting hotter or we're getting a heat wave coming through, we might have to adjust. But um, that's what we're shooting for. For future clinics, um, I actually think that because I was a certified journeyman farrier and shot horses for you know 15 plus years, uh, actually I think it would just be a really good clinic to do on um, like like farrier, not for horseshoers, but actually for horse owners 
and getting into like properly trimming, what a good shoeing job looks like, what balances, and what the what are the key things that would be a horse that's well shod versus a horse that um, could develop issues later on down the road. Maybe just doesn't have something now, but could develop later off of trends that we see. Um, so anyway, excited for that. Congratulations to the recipients. Congratulations to Rebecca Ward for that two hour one-on-one uh, -on -one clinic. I'm excited to do this for you guys. Um, yeah, it's for getting our name out, but honestly, it's really about making the horse community better uh, for better riders and we're working better with our horses then we're doing better things for them, which gives them a brighter future. So um, anyway, I will be reaching out to these five people here uh, very shortly. And uh, if you have any questions, private messages, call us, text us, whatever works. Uh, as always, God bless, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks.